midterm elections now just a week away, members of both parties, Republicans and Democrats, trying to figure out what kind of gains they will reap in Congress and the losses they will take. But with voter discontent high, the emergence of a new force in politics, the Tea Party, could play a significant role in this year's elections and beyond. In tonight's special report, Sam Brock takes a look at the development of this new movement and whether or not the Tea Party can stay relevant in Washington after November 2nd. From the sounds of patriotism paraded through the heart of big cities we don't apologize again. to the grassroots gut checks conceived in the small counties and rural districts throughout Virginia. What do we want to advance? What do we want to be for? To the structured conventions filled with signs of impending Capitol Hill clout. Tea Party organizers say the movement has come of age in its 18-month lifespan. What's been amazing to me to watch is in this process, we've moved so very quickly from protests and rallies to fielding candidates and helping candidates win elections. The Tea Party's on a mission. I mean, they really want something done, and they want, it, they want things to be different. But what exactly is that mission? The results on November 2nd, when we end one-party rule in Washington, D.C. Is it to seat congressmen? Virginia Tea Party Federation Chairman Jamie Radke says the individual tea parties don't donate money to political campaigns and in many cases don't endorse specific candidates. Is it to hold lawmakers accountable for their votes, affect wholesale changes in Washington? The risk, I think, for the Tea Party is how do you set yourself apart without devolving into you know, part of the system. CBS 6 political analyst Dr. Lauren Bell says Tea Party members can recruit support now by carving an identity outside of mainstream politics. But if the group's goal is to establish staying power and influence on Capitol Hill, it will either have to truly revolutionize our system of government or learn to work within it. The system or the institutions always win. I mean, the bottom line is having a couple of people elected to Congress is not going to be sufficient to make widespread sweeping change institutionally in the Congress. Present that observation to a Tea Party advocate and you'll get a different response. We have this institution that's been in place for hundreds of years. It's not like we're going to change Washington overnight. So yes, we are. Yes, we are. We are going to change it, Sam. And change, according to party members, doesn't have to come just in the form of Election Day results. They say it's about lawmakers legislating in line with the Constitution and per the will of the people. I think this movement is going to get just stronger as the years progress. It's going to get stronger. Consent of the government, of the people, by the people, for the people, we, the people, the preamble to the Constitution of the United States. We will be at their door, in their offices, at local and in D.C., and they will know that the Tea Party was no flash in the pan, that while we have given them power to govern, we will quickly take it away should they not embrace our values. It's there, I promise you. Even the Tea Party's most ardent supporters recognize the group's hurdles moving forward. So any challenge with a populist movement is to sustain that movement and to keep it going. I think if we talk in a year or maybe even two years, yeah, we'll probably still be having a serious conversation about, about the Tea Party. I think five years from now, I would be surprised if we were still talking about the Tea Party in the same way. If that prediction holds true. We are the new watchdogs. Perhaps the Tea Party has accomplished its mission. In Richmond, Sam Brock, CBS 6 News. We just learned about the Tea Party movement as a whole and how the group wants to hold leaders accountable from now on. But who leads the local efforts in Virginia? Tomorrow night, you'll learn more about the Mosley mom volunteering for the cause and the role that everyday women are playing in keeping the Tea Party vibrant. Sam Brock's special report continues tomorrow night at 11.